Here we are, low tide. Just waiting for Wingman to turn up. Gonna do something a little bit different today, apart from fishing from mullet. Gonna try for something else. There is not one cloud in the sky. Anywhere. I must be dreaming. Here we are guys and welcome back to the channel. It's me, Younger Bassman. Hello. <laughs> yes, mate. <laughs> Welcome along guys, we are on the River Plym and joining me today is the wingman, say hello. Hello guys. Great to be out with you sir. Yeah, as always mate. Yes, um, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to today, we're going to stick a bit of worm out for something silver or, or gold. But yeah, we're going to try for a mullet as well, Met, um, Met, Met, who's Met? Brett, you haven't, you've had, you haven't had a proper mullet have you, you've had a little stickle back? Uh, four, four twelves is the biggest. No, this year. Oh no, yeah, alright. Right, so yeah, so Brett's yeah. a bit late on the party because he's got to work six days a week at the moment because he's doing overtime, aren't you, mate? Yeah, mate, sticking in the hours. Yeah, saving up for a new motor. Yeah. Yes, so we are here, guys, on the River Plym. The tide is just flooding. There's not a cloud in the sky, not one cloud. I just I just don't know what's going on. I just don't, it doesn't feel right, does it? It's no, like mate. I've got a T-shirt on, I've got one pair of trousers. Yesterday I had two and I was still chilly. So yes, welcome along, guys. We are rolling. We've got six quid's worth of lug, a handful of rag, four loaves of bread. What could go wrong, wingman? Nothing. Let's go fishing. <laughs> Mate, it's got a hell of a peak on it and I can't even see your eyes. <laughs> You're rolling. Yes. Oh. It's a snapback, mate. <laughs> it's what the youngsters wear. Yeah. So, you know. I may be 50 odd, but you're as young as you feel. Yeah, mate. Right, so what I'm gonna do now is just... That's better. How's that? Yes. That's that, now that's cooking, isn't it? Yeah. Right, just one more thing. There you go. Mullet o'clock. <laughs> right, we're gonna start this video or what? Are you rolling already? Yeah, mate, you've been rolling all the way. Right, we'll stop that and I'll... I didn't know no better, right? You got this because you liked it because of the colour of your car. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I didn't, but it's, it's a good point. It is the same colour as my car, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. I don't know, perhaps my car's a little bit darker blue. I don't know. It doesn't look so bright through the lens. It looks darker through the lens, but in real life, it's very bright. Very, br very bright. It's beautiful though, isn't it? Yes, mate. So yeah, Brett's going to use that one today. Promised him a little go on that. And that's the great thing about uh, our little team that we get to try all the new gear. Courtesy of Black Rock. Yes. Yeah, nice to see you christen that bass rod. Oh, hang on, no, I've christened it already, haven't Christened I, with it already, a, yes. With a ras, a ras on a pop-up. But yeah, it'd be nice to see a bass on it. I haven't caught a bass on it yet. Or a gilt head. We're in there, Alec. Plenty of time. Trouble with Brett, he throws like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> nice bit of bass food there. Courtesy of Rob's. On its last legs, but it's still wriggling. Right up in the sky. Up the A38 flyover. Yeah. There's a paraglider. I don't know if you can pick it out. So I've set up a little ambush point here. And this is the um, this is the VX all-rounder sport. 1.5 test curve, 10 foot. So it's similar to the three pound carp, the VX carp, but obviously it's the Arthur's light, you know. 
I've had this for years, it's a lovely rod. They're only 50 quid, something like that. So I've set up a little uh, ambush point here. Cast her up to the left. Yeah. Tide's coming in fast. We haven't had a bite yet, which is a surprise. But it's nice to be out. There we go, Brett's just having a bite on the new bass rod. Is it a bass or is it something else? No, mate, that ain't no crab. Come on. slack there you go so brett's just wound in and it's on hey <laughs> mr luscom mr luscom yeah you're wrong mate oh, this is good fish, yeah i know mate oh you want to bring my mullet rod in no you're all right mate no i'm filming the bass don't rush it, mate. You're all right. Beauty. On the running pack, ultimate estuary rig, sir. Bloody hell, Brett. <laughs> yeah, I've got my mullet ones, mate. All right. Go, just bring it in, mate. Bring her in. Go on, she's deep hooked. There you go. Go on, look at that. It's awful. Oh, that is not in good condition, look is it? Look at this. What is that? Skinny and... Mate, that's not a good condition fish, is it? Terrible, mate. I've never, ever seen that. Here, I'll let the stinger rig. Mate, I'm frightened to touch it. Hang on, it's, why is it on zoom? Yeah, well done, mate. What, for that? <laughs> <laughs> the toxic fish. Well, you're definitely, definitely going back there fight another day yeah well, we'll get a picture first strong isn't it yeah didn't it go well though if that was in good condition it would be a you know nice eating fish wouldn't it yeah but it's not right let's get this hook out in a minute Well, mate, I've, I've never seen such a raggedy old bass as that. Look at it. So, you know, it's a job to know what to do. Put it back or kill it. Put it out of his misery. Mate, it's going back. Yeah, go on, I put it back, mate. It back. We've got a bit of an ugly bass here. Yeah, ugly one. Mr. Luscombe. Yeah. You all right? Hi, right, man. Bit, oh, sc shit. bit scabby, mate. Bit. <laughs> what do you do with that? Rank, isn't it's it? going back, mate. Go on, the ugly bass. Off you go. You better go and see a dermatologist, mate. Yes, here we are. Ben's arrived with the kids. Cracking day. One fish on the bank, unreleased. No mullet bites. That's because the weather's too nice. Too sunny. Here we are, bites on the right hand rod. Go on wingman, you get that rattle. Come on. <laughs> Won't happen now. Get a feeling it's a shy fish, Had mate. about four bites in a row there, didn't we? First bite. I'm getting all excited. And now it's bloody stopped. Oh, left hand. Yeah, right? I saw that one. Oh, here we go. Don't clip me around the ear, Mr. Gordon. No, I'm not. I'm, <laughs> I'm down at the rod, mate. Turn around, look. Here I am, so you know I'm not lying. 
<laughs> rod, 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 rod. Oh my god, you missed that. Oh my god. He's on Brett. Oh my god. That looked like it was on. Yeah, it did, didn't it? He's still having it. got a washing line there as well it's a big oh my oh my god Brett come on taste that Kamakura <laughs> he's on the washing line isn't he as well yes mate I you might, oh, about to say I reckon he's done me no I don't think he's finished yet mate wow. he's quite a confident fisher yeah That is a bite and a half. Uh, he's just mopping up the rest of that washing line, yeah. mate. Like spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> Any minute now. Oh, yes. Come on. Any minute, mate. I'm telling you. Come on. It's going to fold and we're going to have on. some fun. Come on. Not, not unless it's grot bags. I'm going to have to strike, I think. That was, I reckon he's done me now. Still there. Come on, feel my pain. Nail biting stuff. Yeah, I was gonna say it. I was, I was, I was, I was just going to lift it. Oh, if he'd gone a little bit further. Oh my God, that's, <laughs> that was that's it. That's me done. I think. I think that was him turning. Turning. Gate, ripping it off. That's got to be the best bite sequence ever, mate. Well done. Yeah, you know, he's. I think he's done pull there, like Paul says. You know, if that had gone a centimetre further, oh, that would have been worth letting him have, have the hook, wouldn't it? I was going for a strike. He's done me. He's done you, hasn't he? Unlucky champ. <laughs> that was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. I mean, uh, that's mullet fishing. You know, when's he going to work up? Well, never. <laughs> <laughs> no! Never! Slam right over. I, have, I was looking at you. Bites galore. Possible bite on the other rod, too. Rod, might have got that. Bye. Father and daughter. Gently, and now you've got to try and guide it in through these weeds, okay? Look where your line's gone, it's gone over that way, look. See it? Oh! Come on, lift it. Lift, pull round, pull round, see it? Right, come over here. Hello. Come over towards me. Going. No. That way. That way. Oh, that's right. Sorry, Ben. There you go, buddy. There you go. The bass. Well, I'm going to say hello to it then. <laughs> going to put it back? Where are you? He's on. 
on there, you don't want to touch it, but you can put it back across, yeah? Come here, let's just put him on this rock so you can just look. He's got spikes, okay? He's got rock here, he's got a plate, he's got spikes, he's got a sharp blade that runs there, and all these back ones there, they're all spikes, okay? So. Oh, yeah. On a Mr. Stinger, Ben, hey? Yeah. <laughs> I've got to keep the kids interested, don't I? Mm. Keeping them kids interested. <laughs> Can't get it out, though. Ah, uh, you know it, Mr. Gordon. Why, <laughs> Treble? Just literally cast that in. Yeah. Is that a guilt? No. Guilty by a bass, by. I didn't get enough of it, mate. Sadly, though. Literally just cast that in two seconds ago. Whack. I might um, <laughs> put my rod over that way. <laughs> no. Ooh. Oh, and again. Could it be? I think we're in a cheap seat, Brett, aren't we? Been very close to catching a fish today. Bite. Hey, how's a bite on yours, Brett? Oh, Brett's, Brett's having a little bite, bite on the blue. blue one. Just wobbles into a rattling. Oh, mine's gone. Seems to be hit and then bugger off. Been very quiet, hasn't it? Yes, mate. <clears throat> Just had a bite on the blue rod. Too sunny. Yes. Yeah, no, no, I'm not moaning about the weather. It's lovely. So. So. Didn't, didn't take you long to cotton on, did it? <laughs> to my short pat. Mm. What was that, an hour ago? No, mate. Long, longer than that, mate. That quick, was it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some things never change. Hey, mate, you taught... Taught you too well, haven't I? Taught you too well, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. Secret yeah. squirrel moth. Yes, mate. <laughs> there it is, is my uh, running pat. Right, so here's my uh, ultimate estuary running pat. 20 pound memory free line. On both snoods. The swivels. Quite length. The swivels have to be the same if you're making this yourself. Don't get too close, mate. That's it. They have to be the same. And what you get with this rig is better bite detection because the fish is pulling against. Look at the rod tip. See? So the fish is pulling against your main line. So yes, yeah, so I, I really like that rig. It's caught me a lot of fish, but not today. <laughs> <laughs> one more thing, one tip I can give you when you get fish in is, it's a good idea to put something heavy onto your, your butt of your rod. Because when these fish hit, you know, a proper gilt head, it's, it's bang, bang and they just lift your rod up and over and out. My, my, I've, I've had two rods go over before, uh, at Beach and Sulcombe, a little beach, and the rod rest has gone over and it's gone zzz, 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 and me running down after it, and just managed to grab the handle, lifted it up, no fish, they just run and drop. So I have my drag quite tight here, look. So you can pull line, but I want that fish, when it bangs over, I want that hook to go in. So yeah, I'll just now cover both rods with one rock and that will that will that will improve your hookup rate and it will save your rods from going in so there yeah so wingman's in uh, invested in the black rock what, a year ago was it oh 
Oh, mate, it's been more than a year. Two now. years, is two it? Years, two years since like you that. started. And he's put some nice red tape on it. <laughs> yeah, so he's put some nice day glow tape on there so that I need to do that because it makes a difference, doesn't it? Yes, mate. Yeah. Not as bad as I thought. Hang on. Oh yeah, well that's that's proven the point, isn't it? Really. Yeah. So he's, <laughs> he's, he's felt, felt that. that. He's felt that and thought, nope, I'm out of here. <laughs> that is nuts. Right, I've let you out all day in this nice weather, and you've let me down. So you're going back in the box, mate. There's no good begging, you're going in, that's it. Useless. Let me out, let me out. What? Let me out, I promise. No, no you've not put in your weight though. I promise I will. You've let me down today. Are you sure you're gonna do, do the business? I promise I will, boss man. All right. Oh yeah. What have I told you about smoking in my box? For fuck's sake, man. Right. Thank you. Happy now. There we are, guys. That's it from us, just about. We're um, we're just freshening out the last bit of the tide here. It's dropped quite a lot, mate, isn't it? Yes, bud. And yeah, it was a bit of a struggle today, guys, to be honest. I've blanked. I've had a couple of slammers on the bait, and I've had a couple of slammers on the mullet. Uh, but it just didn't really happen today because of this lovely weather we're having. Um, so yesterday was a lot better, I found, on the smaller tide. So it's a neat tide spot here, not a, not a big tide. And we're now going up to the springs. But this is the best time to target mullet on the jumping tides, not the dropping tides. So yes, be inspired, guys. Get involved. Get yourself a, you know, a cheap mullet rod or a spinning rod or anything. Just give it a go. Loaf of bread, that's all you need, isn't it? Yeah, mate. And a treble look. <laughs> yeah so thanks for tuning in guys please share the love hit the subscribe button it's just there like you know this is we do we do this we love doing this don't we yeah mate so long may it continue and nice to be with you today sir thank you mate thank you very much and yeah please hit subscribe or leave a comment or the like just hit the like if you can't be bothered to leave a comment just takes one second so yes yeah, so i've really enjoyed today and it's been lovely weather for a change hasn't it yes mate and yeah puffs in the doghouse yeah, he's Puff, been naughty, isn't he? Puff the magic dragon. Uh, yeah, so we'll be back. Uh, but I'm going to Mallorca next week with my dear mother. And guess who's got to feed the, uh, the cats? Cats. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm only going for three nights. Uh, yeah, so um, tight lines, guys. We'll be back. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.